Hey everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to talk about vibrance and saturation. Um, they're up here under image adjustments. You've got vibrance, you've got hue saturation. We're going to talk about the difference between vibrance and saturation and mainly use the vibrant saturation adjustment layer because that's really where it's all happening. Before we jump into it, this month, April of 2016, GraphicStock.com is our sponsor, and it's Creative Rewards Month over at GraphicStock.com. You can sign up and get six months of access to their over 300,000 images, stock photos, vectors, illustrations, you name it. 39 bucks for an entire six-month uh, period of access to the library. There's a link down in the description. So if you need that strong and confident businessman with boxing gloves while wearing a suit, um, well, you can see they've got the image here. So, great. Uh, let's jump back over to Photoshop and talk about vibrance and saturation. Here's the fast and easy way to think about vibrance versus saturation. Vibrance is going to, well, saturation boosts the color or removes color depending on which way you slide the slider. Uh, saturation is going to either introduce and boost every little bit of color you have in your image. That includes, obviously, even the little bits of color in her skin, her lipstick, the blue glare on her glasses, etc., across the image. And the same thing uh, when you desaturate, in fact, bring it all the way down to just a straight up black and white if you bring it all the way down. Vibrance, on the other hand, is a little smarter. Vibrance tends to boost the areas of color um, that are a little... Um, a little more prone to being boosted in general and avoid a lot of the orange tones and tones typically found in a human skin tone. So you can see here, if I boost the saturation, it really kind of messes up her skin. We would need to come in here on this adjustment layer and mask this away. Um, however, I'm just going to set this back to zero. It's faster just to do it manually. If I boost vibrance way up to 100, it really kind of does nice things to her skin. It adds just a little bit of color, and it really brings a lot of color into our background. Let me just close the properties panel. I'm going to shut off the vibrance adjustment layer. You can see there's before. It now looks very desaturated, and there is after. It actually looks pretty good, and you can see her skin before. Now it looks very pale and washed out. So that's pretty cool. One of the other neat things you can do is you can even combine, obviously, you have your slide together you can remove saturation if that needs to be done and a lot of times this is what I will do is remove saturation but boost the vibrance and you can see it still adds a lot of color but it's kind of this interesting balance of muted versus very saturated colors but in this case actually let's add some additional saturation and really blow the color of this image out of the water especially all this stuff back here in the background now because we've gone plus 20 on the saturation we need to go in here and mask. So I'm going to select the mask and I'm going to grab my brush tool and I've got a 1500 uh, pixel very soft edge brush. I'm going to paint with black and I'm just going to paint over her skin area, her dress here and all of that. Now part of the problem is this is removing all of our vibrance boost so we're really back to that very pale skin. We can quickly fix this. Just select the mask and we're going to hit command L. That's going to bring up our levels uh, option here and we're going to play around with the output levels. We're going to boost the brightness of just the blacks. So in our mask it's not going to mess with the white, the stuff out here that's being colorized just the way we want it, but it's going to make the black less black, therefore showing more of our adjustment layer because it's more like a medium gray. And if you just focus here on her skin, right, just look at her skin. Here's when it's solid black. When we make the black maybe more like a, a dark to medium gray, you can see we get it just a nice wash of the color from the adjustment layer. Hit OK to commit that change, and we've adjusted the mask, and that's the difference between vibrance and saturation. Vibrance is going to allow you to boost colors without really messing with skin tone. It's more of like a smart saturation, where saturation is going to go and either increase or decrease saturation just across the board with reckless disregard for any of the color. It can be very useful, but it's not always what you want to do. In fact, I almost always start with vibrance, and most of the time, vibrance is all I will end up working with. Saturation only in extreme cases. So, for vibrance and saturation in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.